Hello, what's up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video will be taking a look at all the important events and updates that came with the most recent patch to Black Desert on March 24th of 2021. There is a ton of content. Like literally there are more notes here than were in my entire senior thesis for college, so I'm not going to waste any more time. Just quickly before we get into the video, if you're new to my channel, new to Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on my channel and still haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. New videos come out every single day. It would help to grow my channel and I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it and let's start off with the first thing that you probably clicked on this video for, the Nacho Rerolan Gear Exchange. So this is the gear we talked about in a couple videos last week where we were discussing how you're going to be able to exchange your Pennaru gear. So in order to do this questline and actually exchange the Pennaru gear, you're going to need to have played through the storyline through the Calpheon series or have reached level 56. Once you've done one of those two conditions, if you press the comma key on the keyboard, click on the quest tab in the bottom corner, and then the event quest tab, you will see the quest line, Special Aid, Fugar's Letter. Go ahead and accept that quest line. This is going to direct you to any Fugar you want. So we're going to go to the one that's sitting right here. If we go ahead and talk to this Fugar, click on the continue option, it will complete. We can then click the quest option, Special Aid, a secret deal. Then click on the option that says, all right, I accept your offer. Click the continue button again, click on the quest option, and you will now have the ability to exchange all of this Narcher Liberlan gear. So once again, to exchange for this gear, you need Pen Naru Stage gear. Naru gear is awarded on any character, it does not have to be a season character. If you deleted your gear already, you can just play through the story on another character. It takes like three hours, four hours maybe, to get through this point in the story. If you exchange your season gear already in for this gear, just play through a new character. I know it sounds like a lot, but the gear is really, really solid. At any rate, once you have your full set of Pen Naru gear, if you talk to the manager Fugar here and click on the quest tab, you will see these quests. And we're just going to go right down the line. You just accept the quest, accept the quest, accept the quest all the way down. And then you just continue to complete the quest by clicking the chat option. And you just literally exchange for the gear. That's it. You're just going to hit chat, exchange, chat, exchange, chat, exchange. So this gear is bound to your family, which means you can drop it into a storage and pick it up on an alt character. So don't be nervous about which character you complete the quest on. And the weapons themselves come in a box. So you can also place this box into storage and open it on whoever you want to open it on. As we mentioned in previous videos, the gear itself is slightly better than Tattuvala armor or Tri Oasis gear that you get from the Oasis vendor. And all in all is a solid starting set to use on your characters. So once again, it is bound to your family, which means you can transfer between characters. And that's pretty much it for the gear exchange quest line. It's super simple, guys. Just find any Fugar, complete that quest of the Black Spirit. Next event that's in the patch notes is going to be accessed by pressing the Y key on the keyboard. And under the challenges tab, you are going to see this stuff right here when you log in on your Sage. So for logging in on a Sage here in Black Desert, you'll get the following rewards. Has to be claimed on a Sage character. But once you have claimed the items, you can also put them into storage and claim them on any character that you want. So for example, if I go to the Storage Keeper right here again, click on Storage. I can drop these extra inventory expansions into storage and claim them on whatever character I want. Neat thing about this is a 50% knowledge gain item right here, Eyes of the Wise, and it's equivalent only to a Sage, but it's great for farming different things like in the Bartali's Log. Next event is right here, Secrets of the Hexadron. Every single day for logging in, you're going to get two of these little pieces right here. You can just go ahead and claim those. The Hexadron piece itself is also obtainable from gathering, fishing, or defeating monsters, so while you're out grinding, and can be sold for 500,000 silver apiece. Now, as we just showed you every day for logging in, you're going to get this unknown Hexadron item, and if you take the two items in your inventory and use the simple alchemy option, this is the L key on the keyboard, you're going to be able to place these two items together. If you then hit the Start button, it will create a random hexadron. So there are four different options for these things. You have the wind, water, earth, or fire. Each of these gives you a random amount of ancient spirit dust, and you can re-roll if you so desire by using another hexadron piece. So just to show you how re-rolling works, if you go to Simple Alchemy once again, you can select that item and then click the hexadron piece again and roll it a second time. So right there, I stepped up one more time and got the ancient spirit dust times 30. Pretty straightforward. You can mess around with this. Every day you get another unknown hexadron. So while you're out grinding and stuff, you can keep rolling these into this box until you get the red one for maximum ancient spirit dusts. Pretty simple event. Next event is basically the ancient knight, white knight spawn thing event where you get 300% skill EXP. While you're out grinding, a magical box is going to spawn. Go and talk with the magical box and you get an EXP buff of 100% and a skill EXP buff of 300% lasts for 180 minutes, aka three hours, and it does not stack with any other buffs that you might have as far as like event buffs. So like that mysterious knight, whenever he would spawn, will not stack with that if you have one of those active. It just resets it. So pretty cool bonus EXP while you're out grinding. 
Next event is the Purdy Flowers event, where we're going to be taking screenshots of our characters in front of the flowers that are sitting in the major areas of Black Desert. So the cherry blossom trees are starting to grow. If you take a screenshot, upload it to this forum topic post area, which will be linked in the description below. You're going to be entered for a chance to win fabulous prizes. Top three people are going to get a classic outfit box. Everybody else is going to get some like drinks, I guess. So yeah, take a picture of your character and put it over there and then there you go. Next up on the information here is going to be that anybody who made an account between February 24th and March 24th, aka after the transfer of service period, is going to get the same rewards that all the people that did the transfer of service did get. So they're going to get the free pet, exchange coupons, all the crap that everybody got, cronstones, everything. So it'll be delivered to your in-game mailbox. You can pick it up right there starting on March 24th. So good news for anybody who started playing the game in the last month. And with that, we're now going to get into the difficult, more informative section of this video, where we're going to have lots of really, really important information. And if you've tuned me out, you should probably like tune back in for a few seconds. So first big bit of information, no new season character, no new season next season, no spring season. Instead, you're getting the Olvia server thing, which we'll talk about here in a little bit in the next bit of information, but no new season character. Now, I know this is going to be a shock to a lot of people, and a lot of people are upset about it, but don't worry, they did give us a little insight into why they're doing this. So, basically, they've gotten a lot of feedback from people saying that it's harder to progress, and they don't really know how gear progression works and all that stuff, so that's why they decided to just put out this gear and just give it to you. That way, you don't have to worry about gear progression. You, you can just have it. Don't even worry about the season server. Don't need to do any of that Tuvula upgrading stuff. We'll just, we'll just give you this stuff. And even as far as accessories go, with the new changes to the Kapocha accessory system, for reaching level 61, you get a full set of Kapocha accessories. So you get necklace, belt, earring, ring, all of them for hitting level 61. And this is retroactive, so if you didn't hit these levels before, you already hit them, but you didn't get the rewards, you do get them, as you can see right here. So yeah, basically the season server is just obsolete with these changes. Now a lot of people are going to say, but you can't get your pen Kapocha, or you can't get Tet Boss gear equivalent Tuvala gear, and don't worry, they figured all of that out with this amazing two week long event and don't worry they really thought about new players with this system here that are just getting into the game and trying to figure it out by making it so only really new players that have like two characters can do this so all you got to do is a new player that has like two characters and has no idea what's going on is get yourself into a really 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 good geared guild or have really 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 geared friends get them to take their gear off open up this guild gear rental system here drop that gear piece into the rental thing and they won't be able to use it for two weeks and then you get to borrow it so yeah i love my guild but not that much but yeah basically you can put shit inside of that box oh, i swore oops <laughs> you can put stuff inside of that box and other people can use it and uh yeah that, that's pretty much it you can rent it out to new players in your guild so it's great if you got friends and you want to help them out you just have to give up your gear so that they can use it for two weeks for some reason they can enhance it with kaffir stones but the kaffir stones will be removed from any weapons and armors so I don't even understand why that's even possible. But yeah, it's kind of an interesting choice. That, that's basically the TLDR on that. I don't know how many people are actually going to use this. But it's there, I guess, if you want to be friendly with your friends and give them your backup gear. Can't be pen stage. Has to be with either try or tet. And you can't put any life skill related gear in there as well. All right, I think I made fun of that enough. If you think I'm wrong and there's a million uses for that gear rental system, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, moving on to more important information. All winter season characters that you may have created for this most recent season are scheduled for deletion on March 31st. So be ready for that. Just kidding. Relax. They're going to get converted to normal server characters. So your season character will become a normal servant character on March 31st. Any gear in your inventory that you have not converted yet, if you do not complete the graduation system, will be converted in the order of highest gear level. So if you have two weapons, your highest one will get converted. If you have two armor pieces, your highest one will get converted. If you have two weapons that are the same tier, so like say you have two pen weapons up for the main hand, whichever one was made more recently. So if you made like a sword and a blade and you made the sword after the blade, the sword is the one that will get converted. You can contact support before April 27th to switch which item got converted if you want to, so do not worry too much about that. And yeah, with the end of the season server on March 31st, any quests related to the season server are going to be deleted. So you won't be able to exchange the frost leaves, honorable adventure certificates will be deleted, season quests are going to be removed, and the season pass, if you haven't finished any of it, will be removed. So make sure to claim everything you can off of those before those are done. Also, all the different ores and items in your inventory are also going to be removed. 
So if you're not going to upgrade any more stuff, make sure to sell all your time filled black stones and all that crap. Or exchange them in for advice of Valks or things like that. If you do not complete the early graduation quest line, the Adventure at the Crossroads quest line, you're going to get the stuff sent to your mailbox that was rewarded from that, so don't worry about that. And the quest line that rewards the Pen Kaposha accessory is still accessible, as well as the ability to use boss gear exchange coupons from the winter season following the completion of the winter season. And that's pretty much it for important information as far as the season character graduation goes. So once again, March 31st, you got one week left to play on your season character before it becomes a normal character. I'm only memeing on you pretty hard today, don't worry. And at last, we are finally on to the final tab, which is the actual patch notes. Can you believe it? We're finally just getting to the patch notes. So as was mentioned already earlier in the video, there are new Olvia servers. So the Olvia servers now give you 50% more combat EXP, 20% more skill EXP, have a level cap raised by one, the insane change of double EXP for life skills. This is huge. If you're a new player, you should take full advantage of this. And I'm not only biased because I'm a life skiller, but Artisan 1, well, actually Artisan 2, is like the breakpoint for tons of different life skills. So 100% take advantage of this life skill power leveling. And additionally, Contribution EXP also is easier to get. You get more Contribution EXP, which is great for your worker empires and things like that. Sage got some quality of life improvements. If you're playing Sage, feel free to check those out. In my Bartali's log video, you saw that you needed a Kaya necklace for one of the quests. They can now buy the Kaya necklace from the NPC Mandolf in Trent. For those of you that are grinding in the Elvia zones, there is a new Wacky Toshi NPC located in Glish now that sells you Elvia Marnie stones. So these are the Elvia Marnie stones right here for the different grinding zones. The NPC is located right here. You can see Serendia Territory, Glish, Marnie's, Werni, blah. Oh my god, that was bad. Serendia Territory, Glish, Marnie's, Top Assistant, Wacky Toji. There's this thing. I don't even know what to say about this. There's a little dude that's going to spawn. You get a key. The key gives you nothing, and then you get nothing from opening up the key. My personal favorite one that went live is the reset of the Black Spirits Adventure. You have no idea how excited I am that I was at 48 of these and I was about to get the super awesome box with lots of money in it and they reset it back to zero. I'm really excited about that. We briefly touched on this bit here that the Kaposha accessories now have new level requirements to unlock them. You only have to get to level 61. This is kind of part of the reason why the season server is becoming obsolete. And there's new level rewards for going 62 through 65 as far as try Kaposha accessories. Also the level to craft Kaposha accessories has been dropped to level 61. Already talked about the Narchlin gear, so we don't need to do this. If you have a full set of Pentuvula gear and you want to put in a little bit of an upgrade to that gear, if you would, you can use heating on the Narchlin gear, doesn't matter what time, to get a fresh Spirit's Breath stone thing. You can then take that to the Node Manager Mary in Atnis Pond, who's located right here. It's located between Old Wisdom Tree and the Lamora Guard Post right here. Take it to her. She'll give you a stone. You can then use that stone as an Armor Reform Stone or a Weapon Reform Stone on a Tuvula piece of gear to get some bonus stats for it that you can see right here. We covered this in an earlier video this week. Next up is the Demihar Life Skill Gear. We talked about this in an earlier video last week, but it has some pretty nice bonuses. 80% drop rate buff when having it equipped, 50% gathering EXP, but only has 300 durability and cannot be repaired. It's available from Apprentice Level 1 of Gathering. And to my knowledge, the only way to pick this thing up is through a challenge that you get for hitting Apprentice 1 in Gathering. It is located in your Y Challenges menu. You can see right here, it's Life Let's Get Going. So there are one set of these right here, and you can take your pick of which one you want to use. Since this is an EXP buffing item, I'm really going to recommend using it on one of the higher EXP bringing in life skills. So something like gathering with a hoe or wood cutting or mining. But I mean, I'm not your dad, so you do you. And if anybody finds another way to pick one of these up, let me know. I literally went out to the NPC Demihar, and he has nothing for sale. Uh, Elvia regions got dropped down as far as their difficulty for the majority of regions. I haven't done any Elvia grinding, so I'm not a good person to give you info on this, but it looks like nerfs to overall damages and HP probably makes those places easier to grind. And beyond that, there are no other major changes. So this video is like forever and a day long. I do hope it's going to give you enough information to be able to take advantage of the patch. There's a lot of really interesting stuff, a lot of events that you're going to want to do. So please take advantage of them. Anyway, guys, if this video is going to help you here in Black Desert, do let me know in the comment section below. Also, once again, if you have ideas for other videos you want to see, please let me know. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you at the next live stream over on Twitch, YouTube video right here, or wherever I happen to see you. Thanks.